One, two, three. Hi, we're the Boomer Shines, and we had a dream of doing the Great American Loop, and we are almost done. Hello from Boca Grande. Beautiful, Beautiful. Boca Grande. In our last update, which was November, we were in Chattanooga. We took the side trip off the loop to go to Chattanooga so that we could be closer to all of our family and friends that live in Atlanta. Um, Mark's 93-year-old dad was able to come see the boat and visit, which was pretty awesome. And um, we had some other friends up and it was just great to be close to home. We went home for Thanksgiving. And then after Thanksgiving, we went back to Iuka, Mississippi to get back on the loop. And then from Iuka, Mississippi, we basically just took the rivers down to Mobile Bay. The rhythm of the rivers is interesting. The challenges of the rivers are timing the locks and dealing with the locks and dealing with current. We had lack of water and tons of debris. Oh, and fog. And barges. Yeah. Oh, and barges, yeah. Cinda did a great job of calling ahead to the lock. We yeah, found that the lock operators responded more to Cinda than to me. Oh, they're all oh, right. Hello! Are you coming to get in our video? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Watch this. Oh, oh. Hi, Flipper! Right there. Oh, where'd you go? Literally, 10 feet off the boat. Darn it. Okay, I'll keep going. Okay, so if camera's off a little bit, we jumped. It broke for Flipper. We called the night before, talked to him, and call again first thing in the morning to make sure there wasn't any commercial traffic coming through. We didn't leave the marina until we knew, we were pretty sure we could get into the first lock. So that was kind of yep. our, our plan of attack. And then we emerged in Mobile Bay. Mm -hmm. We went across the Panhandle. Yep. We got sick twice. Had a really scary, our scariest experience was in San Dustin. We were in a bay and all of the water came into our marina from the opposite side where the wind Storm was blowing. Storm surge. The surge lifted us up and over some short pylons. And then at three o'clock in the morning, we noticed we were coming down on the pylons. We were scared we were gonna rip With part of the boat 40 off. 40 mile an hour winds um, slamming us into said pylons. It was a long night. So we were up from midnight to so 4.30. That's what, 4,000 miles into the loop? And that was in Sandestin, Florida, and that was our worst night on the loop. Oh, it was awful. Didn't help that we were sick too, but we, we <laughs> We survived. Mark ended up wrapping that pylon. It was genius with carpet. And then we could just slide down the sides as opposed to slamming on top of it. That so that was Sandestin and now we're making our way. Yep, we made it to Sandestin to Panama City. And then when we were in Panama City, if you know the loop, you have to basically go across, take the hypotenuse across the armpit of Florida. And you've got to have a good weather window to do that. And while we were in Panama City, we were waiting on some packages and some repairs so we couldn't leave until Friday. So Saturday morning we woke up to go to Carabelle, which is typically or an Apalachicola where you stage before you make the Gulf crossing. The overnight um, crossing if you want to go slowly. Yeah, so you have to, yeah, in order to do this hypotenuse across the armpit of Florida, you leave in the afternoon, you arrive before noon the next day. Anyway, we left Panama City on Saturday morning at 7 in the morning, 6.37 in the morning. We got to Apalachicola at 4 and just decided to keep on going because the forecast was for like next to no waves, full moon, so we had visibility and there were 10 other boats going. So we just ran. We just kept going. We ran 29 hours nonstop. Yeah. Boat did great. We did great. Yeah, the boat was amazing. It was, it was pure magic. I was very nervous about the crossing because an overnight crossing with no um, land that you can see in the middle of nowhere. We didn't have cell service. Like you're really isolated and it was incredible. What's the most exposed portion of the loop where you're out of sight of land? Yes. For the longest period. Mm -hmm. And we all, it's known as the crossing on the loop. And you want Belle saying hi? You want to come say hi? Come Here's say Belle. Hi. Look how big she's getting. We do get lots of questions about homeschool, <laughs> so I'll do a separate video about that. <laughs> nice exit. And whether or not we hired a tutor. And then we, last video I asked, if you have questions, let us know. The most popular question was boat tour. So we will do a boat tour soon. 
and a lot of people want to know like must-haves for the loop so we're going to do that soon as well yep we got some finishing touches to do on sea shine note to future loopers get all your like boat projects done before you leave because there's no time to do anything other than the necessities <laughs> when you're going well maybe if you don't have kids there's more downtime True. to do it true yeah if you have kids just get it all done because there's stuff that comes up that you have to do but. okay so we got the tarpon springs and then we went to clearwater had a great stay there then we went to sarasota at marina jacks which is ironic for us or special for us because we went to marina jack january, january 2021 and looked at our first like official boat shopping for the loop yep. at that marina and then we were there two years later on our actual boat so that was pretty cool that was pretty cool and then we ran from sarasota to here at Boca Grande. Oh, I love Boca Grande. And we have been here before, but not by boat, and it is gorgeous. And then we're next, we're going to... Cabbage Key, and mm -hmm. then we're gonna work our way down to the Keys. Oh, the pelicans are, are coming in. You probably can't see this flock. We're getting more pelicans. tropical, and we're gonna get to more anchoring. So, did uh, updates on the generator, and just trying to keep the boat in working order. Yeah, we still got like six months to go. So we, we're, the adventure continues. It's Is just it six not six months? It's four five. months. It's five months. Okay, five months. Hey, I gained a month. Yeah, so we still got five months to go. The adventure, the, the pace is going to slow down, but I think it's gonna be much more enjoyable. This is much more calm. Yes, when, when you're not moving every day. The, yeah. the rivers are a bit of a grind because we were going every day for like 20 days in a row. Yep. Um, it was cool, it was really cool, but I'm glad it's done because I'm glad to be warm. It was also really cold for yeah, most of it. freezing cold. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the kind comments after our last video. You guys are awesome. And if you don't mind, pick up two pieces of trash a day. And if you live in the South, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, I need you to pick up four because our states are a mess. <laughs> and to keep more up to speed, Oh yeah, follow us Cindy's on Instagram. Cindy's doing Instagram. We are at the Boomer Shines. Yes. And that's more daily postings. She's having fun with reels. Yeah. So that's the play-by-play. -play. Okay, so from Boca Grande and Sea Shine, shine, shine on. on.